Welcome to Yavascular City Hall. The Yavascular City Hall was built in the late 19th century in the Neo-Renaissance style. Designed by the architect Carl Victor Reinius, its construction was estimated to cost 200,000 old Finnish marks. The City Hall had facilities for an auction house, a city library with a reading room, the register office, a police station, the city court, the city treasury, Bank of Finland, a meeting chamber for the councillors, premises for local societies and associations, as well as a restaurant. At the time the City Hall was completed, there were about 3,000 inhabitants in Uvascula. We are now on the first floor of the City Hall, in the entrance hall. On this floor is the City Board Meeting Room, the Mayor's Office, the Registry Office, the City Office, Legal Services, a Staff Cafeteria, as well as the City Hall Information Desk. In this room, the City Board of Uvascular meets. The City Board manages the public administration of the City, prepares issues for the City Council, sees that the Council's decisions are implemented and controls the interest of the City and represents the City. The City Board is elected to a four-year term. Next, we will take the Grand Staircase up to the second floor. The ceiling above boasts a fabulous decorative mural by Yvascular decorative painter Emil Edward Sandmark. Sandmark's murals can be found in other rooms of the building as well. As originally intended, the City Hall became a lively, multifunctional space for the City residents. The Festivity Hall served as the heart of the building and a common living room for the Yvascular inhabitants. Among other things, the Grand Ballroom saw the first cinema screening in the city, albeit one that unfortunately ended prematurely due to a fire. Concerts, theatre performances and exhibitions were also held in the festivity hall. Inhabitants could watch the events from the attic level balconies. On the second floor of the city hall, many societies and associations made their homes. The most prestigious restaurant in the city was also found on this floor. The festivity hall was converted into a Russian military hospital in the early 20th century and in the 1920s the Finnish Broadcasting Company had a studio in the building. The city hall has served as a polling place as well. From its earliest days on to today, the festivity hall has also played host to grand receptions of Finnish presidents, foreign heads of state and other high-level visitors, including Swedish royalty. Scenes from the movie Matti about a legendary ski jumper were also shot in the festivity hall. The murals on the ceiling of the festivity hall depict the original use of the space. Portraits lining its walls depict former chairpersons of the city council. The lighting fixtures were made by Berliner Messinglampen in Germany and the furniture is designed by Kerttu Tamminen. Today, the second floor of the City Hall is used mainly for meetings and city representation events. The City Council, the City Board, the City's committees and the Council groups all meet at the City Hall. The City Council meets in the Festivity Hall once a month on a Monday evening. The City Council is the highest decision-making authority in the City. The Council is elected in the municipal elections held every four years. The council meetings are open to the public and broadcasted in real time on the city website. The city hall still sees varied use. For example, the mayor gives the New Year's speech from the balcony, the Yvascular Sinfonia gives concerts in the festivity hall, and during Yvascular's birthday week, public tours of the city hall are offered.
Aside from the festivity hall, the second floor's rooms include the gentlemen's and women's hall, as well as the Schilt hall. In the gentlemen's and women's halls, 13 paintings and one sculpture from the golden age of Finnish art are exhibited, gifted to the city by Dr. Pekka Salajarvi. Artists on display include, for example, Helena Scherfbeck, Amelie Lundahl and Albert Edelfeld. The ceiling mural in the women's hall, revealed from beneath later decorations, is the only one in the building to be completely preserved in its original form. The Shield Hall was used to house the City Hall restaurant. It was modern for its day, with food delivered from the ground floor kitchen to the second floor restaurant by a dumbwaiter. The Shield Hall is lined with portraits of former mayors. The ceiling boasts a mural by Emil Sandmark entitled Hoviretki, The Picnic. After the city hall was completed, services such as a police station, dungeon, an auction house and the restaurant's kitchen were placed on the ground floor. Today, the ground floor houses meeting rooms, the city cellar with a vaulted ceiling and kitchen. The names given to the rooms carry themes of the ground floor's earlier uses, including Bampo, Truncheon and Durma, Dungeon. The ground floor also has photographs of the history of the City Hall. Finally, some brief information about the renovation and preservation of the City Hall and the art held in it. Because of traffic vibration, damage and indoor air quality problems, the City Hall was thoroughly renovated in 2010 to 2012. The renovation sought to restore the City Hall as close to its original configuration and coloration as possible. The Yavascular City Hall is one of the few preserved 19th century buildings in the city centre. The city is listed as a protected building in both the detailed city plan and the regional land use plan and is part of a built cultural heritage site of national significance. About 100 works of art are exhibited in the City Hall. These works by Yavaskula and Central Finland artists depict the Yavaskula and Central Finland regions throughout the times and using different methods. Since its completion, the City Hall has been an important building to the city inhabitants. That significance has not faded with time. The value of this unique building is well understood today as then. The Keski Swarmi newspaper wrote the following in its issue on 19th of December 1899. The municipal hall has become host to a great number of associations, and just as the alluring might of song and music echoes through its halls, so does the law and order dwell there. The building in its entirety is the heart of the public and communal life of our town, and every meeting, concert or rehearsal that is held there is one beat of that heart ever filtering and refining the vital humours of the exercise of our lives. Thank you for joining the tour. We welcome you to visit us again.